Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Xavier here from Xavier's Marketing Man Cave. Guys, today I'm going to do a tutorial for Get Response. Um, uh, I've seen a lot of people have this issue with Get Response. Um, it's a bit tricky because their in their interface, their dashboard is a mess. Uh, in my opinion, it's always been a mess. They've changed their dashboard numerous times, and it continues to be kind of strange if you're new to get response um but once you get the hang of it you know it's, it's extremely simple you get sent out newsletters one two three um now get response calls it newsletters uh a weber calls it broadcasts so you know it's different names uh for each autoresponder so okay so xavier's marketing man cave presents how to reach people's inbox every time we get response okay um, I'm going to be showing you guys, let's go to step two, things you will need so your newsletters don't land in people's spam box, okay? One, change your sender's email if you have it for some time. Now, guys, I did a video, an independent video about this uh, first step. I'm going to include that uh, video in the description, so check that out. Um, this I didn't make a video for. Uh, step two, which is important. Um, but yeah, let's get started. All right. So, first of all, I selected create newsletter. And I always go with the uh, drag and drop editor. I'm not an HTML guy, so I don't choose the other option. Um, okay. Now, I always recommend guys using the use. Uh, subject line it's gonna entice the person to open the email it's very important anybody will tell you that uh, leave them questioning what the email is about or maybe uh, you can you got to be a little spammy in the subject lines you know some people are against uh, being spammy with subject lines but you have to or else you'll get a very low open rate uh, so you know don't be afraid to be a little spammy I wouldn't recommend putting dollar signs in the subject line though that's a major no-no um let's try message pending okay all right message pending message pending and when you click on personalize i can select the person's name if he uh when he signed up put his name in but in this case I'm gonna select email so what's gonna happen is when this email hits that person's inbox uh, it's gonna say you know send a message pending with their email address and gonna be like what the hell is that about what and they're gonna open it uh, I'm gonna change my sender I have different senders here today I'm gonna to choose uh, this one I'm gonna click next step Now I select start from scratch and I use blank template. Okay, then we're going to drag this text box to the middle. I'm going to clear what's in the screen. Actually, I'm going to uh, paste. Hold on. I'm going to paste already a generic email swipe. And all I got to do is just add my name here. What's his name? And I'm going to actually highlight welcome package for you. So it's relevant with the subject line. Um, click here. I'm going to bold this and I'm going to. Uh, you know, here's where you would add your link. I'm not going to actually create um, a newsletter right now because I've already sent out two for the day, and that's my max. I recommend you only send two a day. Um, but this is where you would highlight it, and you would add your link. So this is this is the mistake that people make, and it's not typically their fault. It's just get response because of their kind of retarded layout. 
But, you know, you figure you're done, right? You've added your link here. Um, you know what? I'm just going to, for example purposes, I'm going to just put like, uh, you know, google.com. See, and it's highlighted. Uh, also, another thing I would do is I would increase the size for people who have trouble reading small print, small font. Uh, another thing I would play around it with that I usually do is I add a color theme to the background to make it stand out. Um, I'll go like with a yellow. You see? It makes it easier on the eyes to actually read. Um, okay, so this is the part, guys, that people screw up on. Actually, I'm not going to show you that yet. I'm going to show you what happens. So you figure you're done, right? Looks like you're done, right? You click next step. I'm going to choose all my lists to receive this newsletter. And I'm going to click next step. Here's the thing, guys. You see where it says HTML message, message spam score 1.10. I mean, 1.01. Uh, Inbox preview unreviewed. Um, you want to bring this spam score as low as possible, okay? To almost guarantee that it'll hit the people's people's inbox when you send out your newsletter. So we're gonna go to the previous step. Go back once again. We're going to copy and paste this message. And we're going to go to this hidden section called plain text right here. All right. So we're going to click on that. You're going to want to paste in your newsletter, what we just copied and pasted. And you're going to hit wrap long lines. So it all stays within this white area. It doesn't exceed this pink area. Okay. So you're good to go now on mobile. If someone's on their mobile phone, they can properly read it. Uh, let me close this. They can properly read this email. All right. So now we're going to click next step. We're going to click next step again. Now look at the difference when you look at the spam score. Boom. 0 0.10. It dropped dramatically. Okay. So now, at this point, what we want to do is we're going to send the email or schedule it whenever, what time you want it to go out. Uh, perfect timing, uh, it's a hit or miss with this. Perfect timing is, is they decide you're given get response, uh, the the responsibility of, of sending out your email when they think uh, that subscriber will be present to open your email or, or at an adequate time in their time zone. Uh, so you can play around with this if you want. Um, I, I use it on and off, but yeah, you just click send and, uh, you're good to go. Very important guys. I recommend you watch the video in the description area where I show you how to, uh, switch out the, uh, the sender's email. This step, very important. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's it for now, guys. Uh, hope you found this tutorial helpful if you use get response and didn't know that little trick but um guys i'm also including some other links in the description area one is where i'm giving away a free uh facebook script uh that's gonna add tons of relevant leads to markets you want to target to well to people you want to target to that are in that particular market where you're trying to sell um all that good stuff there's more information and in, uh that link, I'm also going to include the uh, YouTube video for that link in the description so you guys can check that one out as well. It's completely free. You don't have to pay anything for it. It's just for you. Um, but yeah, guys, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell notification, okay, and stay tuned. And I'll check you guys out in the next video. Take care.